Hey everyone, welcome back to House Plan Essentials. I'm Bryce. Thanks for being with me today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to propagate in Perlite. Yes, I'm going to show you how to get started with your propagations in Perlite. So um, I'm super excited to show you how to do this. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so to propagate in Perlite, we're going to need a few things. So Obviously, um, the most important part of this whole equation is um, to have some cuttings. So prior to um, filming this, I took some cuttings from a couple plants and here they are. So the first is this cute little pearls and jade pothos cutting. It's got some nice nodes on it here. And um, yeah, this is gonna be great for uh, putting this into our prop box with perlite. Second is this philodendron Brazil cutting. Super cute. Look at the nice colors on here. Um, it's got some nice nodes here and here. Um, yay, I'm excited to do this. So we got our plants. Next thing we need is obvious perlite. So um, I have this black and gold perlite here. And um, it really doesn't matter what kind of brand you have for your perlite. It's all the same stuff. So, um, you know, only if you were using soil or something, uh, that's when you might want to check which brand you're using. But um, black and gold is really good. I see it at the plant shops all the time that I go to. So yeah, Perlite by black and gold. Oh, this bag was uh, $5.99. So, you know, six bucks, it's a really good deal. Um, next, we need a container to put our uh, stuff in. So this is a nice um, uh, Rubbermaid container. It's about eight inches in depth. And uh, so we need about four inches for our um, stuff to go into it. This will act as a mini greenhouse and um, the humidity will collect up here on top and uh, it'll be perfect. So, yep, I got this at the Dollar Tree, obviously for $1 and um so yeah check them out you can get these there really cheap obviously um next we just need some good old fashioned filtered water um this is not filtered in the traditional sense uh, i bought this it's distilled water it was distilled water um and when i ran out i um, used this i filled it with tap water and i let it sit for 24 hours and in that 24 hours, it uh, dissolves the harsh chemicals like chlorine and um, is safe for our propagation. So you're gonna need some water. And um, that's basically it for the things you need. Um, so next is just to put it all together. Okay, so to start putting this all together, first we're gonna need our container and the perlite. So first thing we wanna do is actually measure out the perlite into our container. Uh, we need to measure it out a good two inches um, right down here you can see um, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it um, so measure it out and then what we want to do is rinse the perlite off with some water so um, I take this container and I dump it into a strainer heat like here and um, just run some good old-fashioned tap water over top tap water is not gonna um, hurt anything uh, we're just rinsing it off so um, once we do that, we can actually just pour it right back into our container. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to tilt this down a little bit so you can see. Okay, so I'm just going to dump this in here. It's all pretty straightforward, I would say. Um, I found that, you know, a couple times doing this, um, it was pretty easy for me. So um, here we go. And you can see here, I don't know if you can like tell the depth on uh, the camera here, um, but it is two inches in depth. So um, we've got that, that's going well. So uh, next we want to actually just pour some water into it. And um, so we've got our filtered water here, filtered again. <laughs> Um, and we're just going to um, put in as much water as there is perlite, so just a good couple inches. And as this gets closer, I'm going to watch. Yep, 
And if it's not like spot on, you're okay. Okay, so that looks good. So now we have our perlite and the water. Um, you can see here, it's about the same um, amount of water as there is perlite. And the perlite just floats on top of the water. So next we want to take our cuttings and place them in here. So um, let's just start with the uh, philodendron Brazil. Again, here are the nodes. So there's one right here, right here, and one right here. And we want those to be submerged into the perlite. So uh, we're just gonna do that like here. Okay, how far can you see? How well can you just see, I should say. Um, we're just gonna push it down into it. So there you go, you can see where the stem is right here. Um, under, right between that and the other part of the plant is where the nodes are and they're submerged. So that looks good. Next, we want to take our pearls and jade cutting and do the same. Now this one has uh, a few more nodes. It has two nodes right here actually. And then one, two, three. So we've got five total, which is awesome. That'll do really well when it's in here. So take that and just basically place it down into the perlite. Okay. Voila, that was very simple. And uh, here we go. You can see they're both uh, submerged. The nodes are submerged. And uh, that's good. So all we want to do now is uh, place the um, lid on the container and make sure it's uh, really um, sealed and there's no, no air in there. Okay. And then um, as it gets warmer, and uh, the light hits, it'll create humidity in here. So it acts like a greenhouse, which is super cool. And like super cool that it's a greenhouse in such a small container. Um, and these plants are gonna do really well. Um, I'm excited. So um, next steps would be to place the uh, little prop box in um, a light source. So where I have it is actually sitting next to a west facing window and it's got um, a grow light also on top of it. So it's got really good light, bright, indirect light. It doesn't have direct light. That's one thing you want to avoid is direct light because that will um, really cause some damage to the um, propagation. So avoid direct sunlight, get bright direct light. If you have a grow light, even better, you can place it on top of that, but that's not necessary. Um, it'll do well just by a window itself. So. Um, Let's see, what else can I think of? Um, one thing you want to do is, so because there's so much humidity in here and the leaves are touching um, the perlite that's wet, um, it could possibly uh, cause rot. So one way to avoid that is to take the lid off for about an hour um, every day and let it just air out. And this will help dry it out to a point where it'll like catch up to itself, if that makes any sense. Um, so, yeah, and then once you're done, just place the lid back on it. And um, yeah, it should be, it should be good. So um, I can't think of anything else, but hey, if you have questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, this is all really cool to me. I'm really excited about these perlite prop boxes. Um, if you wanna get bigger containers, you know, that's great. Um, I do recommend having these uh, pretty like high in-depth um, containers. Um, that way there's just the amount of uh, good stuff in there. I'm like, good stuff in there, whatever, whatever that means. Um, yeah, I hope you know what that means. Um, so, yep, that will be it for today's video. If you like this video, and I hope you do, or you did, hit that like button. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you get notified of new content when I put it out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.